Well, people, what can I say? Beautiful Devon, sunny morning. Absolutely gorgeous down here this morning. Decent day yesterday as well. Sun was out all day, so uh, Pond managed uh, to run on the solar all night. Without problem yesterday. Beautiful sunny day today. That would be the same. Power's flying in, in there. Well, yesterday was a funny day. Um, as I say, it was sunny. So I decided to take uh, the top off the veg filter because it was so warm. Um, I hadn't looked in there for just over a week, two weeks, I suppose. I had a right shock when I did. Oh my God, are the plants taking off in there. But uh, I'll run you over to that in a minute and you can have a quick look at that. But uh, it's a real shock to the system. So, here's a quick look at that. Well, we've had a little bit of a shock. I've opened up the... Uh, edge filter and it's kind of uh, off to a enormous start uncovered it nice day so I thought I'd uh, give it some sunshine at one for you to cover and my god it's taken off in the last week so we're gonna have to take the blooming box apart let's do that minute and get back to you and, uh, here's what the moss can do given the chance it's left alone Horrible mess in the bottom here, needs a vac. Get that sorted in a bit. But uh, it's just nice to have it uncovered. That baby tears really is something. Right, so a quick look uh, around the corner. Put the filters around there, see if they're clean. Ooh, lovely little carpet of moss growing in here on top of the foam. not even going to disturb them. So that's about 12 months on them. Not severe at all. Might have to do a bit of trimming on this baby tears. A little bit ridiculous. And here is that moss is actually growing underwater as well but the brown blanket sitting over the bottom is dead algae that's come out of the filters and settled out in here so that would have all returned back to your uh, pond because even if you've got a drum filter this is what's coming off uh, your K1 and your K1 micro so you're moving beds and such like. This is all circulating back into the pond before it's picked out. But here I take it out in the veg. Lily's off to a flying start. <coughs> yeah, just gonna get in here with a vacuum cleaner. Give a bit of a clean to uh, these outlet pipes. That'll drop the water level. It actually goes over the top of that one before it overfills the tank. And uh, then I know to take those japs out, and mats out and give them a clean. Uh, at the moment I'm just going to give the uh, outlet pipe a clean there and I've done myself in for the day so I'll be tidying up the uh, crap over there tomorrow put that away but still not quite ready to take covers off yet see what tomorrow brings radio so as you see there the mind your own business has gone absolutely nuts and uh, the big plant Mimulus Nimbulus is uh, right on its way. So, beautiful day today. Covers are off the veg. I also uh, did a uh, pop the answer back in yesterday. I'll whip you over and we'll have a look at that in a minute. But do I take the covers off today? Well, spring has sprung. Yep, I'm gonna take the bloody covers off. Pond's at uh, about eight degrees. Yesterday, end of the day, it was uh, nearly 10, um, but eight degrees this morning. A couple hours of this sunshine will soon warm back up. Nighttime temps are dropping down, but yeah, it's time to take these covers off. So I'll flop the camera up a minute. 
whipper covers off I'll just stack them against the edge for now I'm uh, still not uh, feeling that brilliant but uh, it's got to be done hopefully the op will be soon I've got uh, an appointment uh, with a consultant uh, 20th of this month and uh, hopefully I'll get my date for the op then but uh, let's stick a camera up and uh, get these damn covers off So, yes, it really is that simple to get the covers off. That's it. Summer mode down here. Fish well spooked now. That cover's been on for a good few months. They'll hang low in the water until they get their confidence back. But uh, that's that. For those of you that haven't seen the covers before, that's how simple they are to take on and off. Set up for winter and summer. Hopefully it's going to be a good few months now before they go back on. Well, we've got a fair bit to do down here. I've got all those bits to put away. The better half is going to give me a hand. Because uh, I'm struggling uh, a bit with the pain with it. I have been better, a bit better, as, I say, as I've said. I've uh, managed to gain a little bit of weight back. But uh, biting it needs doing. So she's going to help. But uh, I might get a bit of pressure washing done. We've got to get all these bits stashed away and hidden behind the shed and uh, then some pressure washing. And uh, I'll put the camera over the uh, pond probably a bit later. I'll give you some footage of that, which I'll uh, stick in here so you can see that. And here we are at tea time after the water's all cleared for the day. Always best to bit of a little blighter to about the sun on the pond. They're absolutely loving it. Covers off. Absolutely fantastic. So there, that's some uh, footage of the pet fish that uh, I will have filmed later. Summer prep. Now, last year I used no bio booster whatsoever. Didn't put in no uh, little balls or uh, bio booster into the filters. Um, I just let them all grow up naturally and it'll be the same this year. They're still on the wheat germ food at the moment. Um, when it constantly gets up to about 14, 15 degrees, I'll move on to some of the protein stuff, but I'll slowly let the filters build up and I shouldn't have any problem. Um, if you think the uh, bio boosters work, then all good and well, chuck them in your filters. But uh, I can tell you now, I can, uh, after pressure washing the bottom of the um, two moving beds and uh, sticking the pressure washer down in the bottom of the easy pods, I've still got little tiny black balls in there from the year before. So, do they actually bloody do anything? I don't know. Certainly take the money out of your wallet. But uh, if you feel the need and you want to use them, all's good and fine. But uh, I've managed without them. But I am well over filtered here. So, with that, I'll uh, stick you onto a little bit of laser cutting. I did the other day for a mate, did a plaque, so a copy uh, of one he already had. If you fancy anything in the uh, that line for your YouTube channel, or just stick around your pond, I've got
got sorts of, sorts of stuff on eBay. I'll stick some links down below. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. But uh, let's pop over and uh, see what happened uh, on the laser cutter a minute, cutting Dave's plaque. Oh, a bit more laser cutting. It's just finished. There's some uh, reed gates for the uh, 200, 220. These have uh, been proven quite popular. They're a uh, good thing you can keep them in constantly, but if you do, just uh, keep an eye on uh, them, obviously, but they'll stop big stuff coming up uh, from your bottom drain and getting into your nexus. Uh, if you get frogs, newts, probably whatever, this will stop it getting in there. Catch a fair bit of blanket weed before it gets there as well. you just got to keep an eye on them when they're in there. Take them out, give them a clean. And today, they'll stop the big stuff from getting into your nexus. These have been uh, selling quite really well for the uh, 200, 220 and 300, 320. Got these on eBay if you're looking for a set, dirt cheap. And the actual gates for the filters, they're a little bit more watertight than the Evolution Aqua ones. I've got them as well, the solid gates for both filters. They're there and cheaper than the Evolution Aqua ones. Right, onto a plaque. Okay, about to close, um, cut Dave's plaque. First thing you do before you do any cutting after you're in is put your piece in, see if uh, you've got it framed, so it'll actually fit on the piece of plastic. So we just do a frame. This actually fits on the sheet. I've got the lid jammed open. I'll uh, got my goggles on, but uh, I'll let this one cut. And uh, this is for uh, a known YouTuber. This is another one that he wants a copy of the original one. Uh, I'll leave this one and uh, put it on uh, time lapse. I'll uh, speed it all up so you can see the cut. This uh, plaque will require three cuts in black, orange, uh, white, and mirror. So there you go, all finished. That's the black. Now we need orange, white, and mirror, but uh, probably won't cut our whole piece in the mirror. Now just the text in white. There's the letters. What's that done? We need a fish. Now a white fish. Now likewise, for the white fish we're going to need an orange fish. You can see the kind of stuff that wastes here.
few of the small bits have dropped into the bottom I'll grab at the end of it but now we've got to do an orange fish Frame again. Yeah, I think it'll be alright with that bit in the corner. And it's just the uh, mirror bits, and I uh, did uh, do a trace in there. It uh, pays on some. You could, uh, you might just as well cut uh, the same pack out of all of, all the colours and stick it together. But uh, like a jigsaw, just use the bits of the colours you want. But uh, sometimes it's easier to cut just the pieces. There's the orange, all done, just the uh, mirror bits. moved into a new frame and as you can guess cutting on a mirror isn't the easiest but uh, CO2 laser does it, diode laser won't but just uh, shine the light right through it, same with clear. Within the frame Mirrors are made up just like glass mirrors, uh, but they're perspex, so they've got uh, silver paint on the back and a dark colour, so you end up with uh, what looks like a real glass mirror. So this is burning through the uh, acrylic plus the paint, and uh, do they always do this one last because uh, the actual cut through the paint really stinks. Soon cut these few little bits, hopefully, I've got more. add some nice highlights onto it. You can see a lot more smoke coming off of it.
that's it. I'll take all the bits in, stick them together on the table. I will show you the finished item. Probably take me an hour or more now to stick it together. Okay, so that's the reverse. Now to stick all the bits in, and stick a sealer over the back, and she's ready. I'll show you the front in a minute when I peeled it off. So let's get that done. And ready to peel the front off for the big reveal. And there you go. Try and get back far enough. Sorry about the window reflection there. But there, if you want a custom channel plaque, like Dave's here, well, I won't say exactly the same as Dave's. If you've got your channel art and you fancy a custom plaque like this, uh, please do get hold of me. There's a good chance I can make it. There's a few I have to turn down because they're just too complicated. But uh, usually I can uh, do something. So if you fancy something like this for your YouTube channel, like Dave at DT Coyier, top man by the way, he's just restarted his channel recently. If you're not already, get over and uh, hit a subscription on him. He does a live show on Saturday nights as well. Guest ch chat show. Right, there it is, Dave. I'll stick it in the cupboard. It's all safe for you. And get it off into the post here when you want it. Catch you all later. Rightio. There you go. That was DT Coy's plaque. If you haven't already, please pop over. Give him a like and a sub. He's uh, had a channel before. Stopped it and started again. And uh, he does a live show, as I say, on Saturday nights. That uh, there's usually some good commenting on. Always worth looking in on. But that's a uh, new plaque for his channel. He's already got one the same, but uh, he was uh, reluctant to take it outdoors. He liked it so much, so I've had to do him another one. If you fancy someone in that line for your channel, please get hold of me. Link down below here, Facebook, or my emails down here, the business email. Contact me there, and I'll be happy to look and see uh, if I could do something for you and uh, work out a good price. Right, from me down here in sunny Devon. It's a glimpse of a bit behind a bloody cloud now. I'm going to do a little bit, as much as I can, then have a break, and then a little bit more later. But I do want to get all this stuff put away. So, here we go. Pond in 2023. Catch you all in the next one.